the period of geologic history known as the Hadean from 4.6 to 4.0 billion years ago uh, is devoid of any fossils of life. As far as we can tell, Earth was a dead planet. The first life, prokaryotic cells or bacteria-like cells, first appeared in the Archaean or Archaeozoic uh, era after that. These early prokaryotic cells would have been the ancestors of the bacteria alive today, the eubacteria and the archaea, in addition to being the ancestors of the higher cells, the eukaryotes. Not only does the fossil evidence support that these early prokaryotic cells were the ancestors of all future life, given that they're the only fossils of anything alive for the first third of life's history, also genetic evidence suggests this as well. For example, there are many genes which humans use for their very complex systems, which are modified versions of the genes that uh, these prokaryotic cells have. So the G protein coupled receptors, which humans use for their brain function, uh, bacteria possess versions of these. Uh, the globins which carry oxygen and red blood cells well, are modified versions of the globins which bacteria have. Bacteria seem to have developed the early versions of the proteins which humans use to digest their food or clot their blood or rec uh, recombine genes when they're making gametes for sexual re uh, production, digest sugar for energy, break down alcohol, determine the RH factor, and so many other things. So the complicated genes of humans seem to be modified versions of many of the uh, genes which early simple prokaryotic cells would have developed in the earliest stages of life on Earth.